Page 28, Children at Play. I don't really have anything to say on this. It's a short little piece. The fingering is there for you. Don't totally agree with the fingering, but I'm not going to get into it. So just follow it. Notice the staccatos and legatos and all that there in the right hand. Now put in the natural accents. So in this case, the natural accent happens to fall on the staccato note. Our tendency is to accent the other note. That's not what's written here. So be sure and get it in a natural accent where it goes. Second line, last two measures, right hand. Watch the articulation. It's, just, it's different than what you've had before. You have two staccato notes back to back. And then on the next line, it's one staccato. You get that again in the last line, so just watch the articulation in the right hand. Melody's in the right hand. Now they have in the left hand underneath a sempre legato. Sempre means always. Legato means connected. So what he's telling you is keep the left hand connected. Always. Connect these. Connect them all. Always means all, right? And in the second line, they finally give you some slurs, and that's fine. And it's three, two, three, two, three, two. Again. So just follow their slurs they're telling you there in the left hand, you'll be fine. You will notice that both staffs are in treble clef. That should be fine. Uh, it is soft. It gets up to a medium loud in the second line, and you can actually get up to a loud when you get to the high C, the high, high C. And then you come down. It's like, that's the climax of the piece. That's the loudest part in the piece is right there. So it's, you build up to it. And then bump up. And then come down. Pew means more. So in the third line down, third measure, pew, piano means softer. Even softer than you've been, okay? It's like a cross between soft and very soft. It's sort of in the middle there, just softer. And that's the melody. So the left hand has to be a lot softer than that. And you're going to stay that way pretty much to the end of the piece for the right hand. Now the left hand has its own dynamics shown here. It starts in the second line, uh, second measure. You have those hairpins, those decrescendo or diminuendo hairpins for the left hand. Not the right hand, just the left hand. So this piece is a good challenge for you on the independence of the hand control. In the second line, third line, fourth line, third, 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 you have different dynamics for each hand shown. So it's like the beginning of the second line. You're soft in the right hand, and you're gonna get, go up to mezzo forte. In the left hand, you're gonna stay soft for the first measure. Then in the second measure, you're gonna start the left hand loud, so you can bring it up, not really loud, but you know, keep it under the melody, but louder than it was. And then you're gonna decrescendo down. But not the right hand, it doesn't get softer, just the left hand. Then in the third, fourth, and fifth measures of that line, the, the right hand gets louder, building up to the C. Then it comes down. But the left hand is following this Decrescendo each time. You come back and you decrescendo. You come back and you you come back up to a, just under a mezzo forte and you decrescendo down to soft. While the right hand is getting louder. Yeah, it's like that. So you have to work on one hand getting loud and the other hand getting softer. And that'll take some practice to try and get both hands, the dynamics in both hands working. It's like a duet going on here.
two people singing their own thing and getting louder and softer in their own thing and it's all kind of weaving in and out. Those last three lines are doing this pretty much. Don't just gloss over it. This is really good exercise. This almost could be called an etude in dynamics because you have to work on the dynamics of each hand and then try and get them to work together. I would encourage you to record this, record you playing this so you can hear the dynamics to see if you're really doing what you think you're doing for each hand. There's a red at the end and I'm going to ignore that because I'm playing with a metronome. I'm not going to slow down. You can slow down yourself. At the end, uh, the last two measures in the left hand, notice it is a tied quarter note to an eighth note. So hold it down. One. So one, two, one, two. So let's try this out. I'll give us a four count so we'll play it. So the hands are here. One and two and ready and go and. Repeat.